A major night of news involving the alleged sale of presidential pardons, sexual harassment, anti-Semitic remarks, all sorts of allegations against Rudy Giuliani. Donald Trump is implicated in these allegations, and we'll get to that sort of subsequently. But let's start with where this all began, which is a lawsuit. The lawsuit has been filed by Noel Dunphy. We are naming her despite her status as the alleged victim because she uh, has gone public. This is not a situation where uh, uh, there is a Jane Doe who's uh, looking to remain anonymous, at least publicly. Daily Beast article explains harassment suit against Rudy Giuliani full of graphic allegations. A New York woman says the ex mayor sexually harassed her while she was working for him claims that he previously denied. When you look at the article, you learn about the 70 page complaint filed in New York Supreme Court. This goes back to January, where Noel Dunphy filed a summons, says she was hired by Rudy in 2019 for so called business development work, that he did not pay her as promised, and subsequently fired her in 2021. The summons also alleges that Rudy Giuliani made anti Semitic and racist remarks during, quote, confused and hostile alcohol laced tirades and demanded sexual favors. The lawsuit was filed Monday. Remember, the first step was the summons in January. We now have a lawsuit. The lawsuit includes extraordinary detail, much of it probably inappropriate for this show. It includes allegations of forced oral sex and intercourse, details of Rudy's sexual preferences, which is gag worthy. The revelation that Dunphy recorded some of the interactions. There are tapes. Lordy, there are tapes. And the lawsuit seeks $10 million in damages. A statement was put out by Rudy. It says Giuliani vehemently and completely denies the allegations, plans to thoroughly defend himself, that it is harassment and attempted extortion. Uh, I don't know that we need to go through all of these elements, but they relate to demands from Rudy that Dunphy work naked or in American flag laden short shorts that he purchased for her. These are like hyper specific allegations. I mentioned the forced oral sex uh, Rudy talking about fantasies related to the television show Billions that Rudy was constantly taking Viagra and would sometimes dear God point his erect penis and say work couldn't be done until that was dealt with. Um, video conferences would include re requests or demands for disrobing. There were text messages where these are included. The, I mean, the, this, you know, it's much tougher when there are recordings and text messages to write this all off as made up um, requests to shower together. Um, it, it, it's all it's all outrageous. And then one of the big elements of this, which we're going to discuss on its own because it is so outrageous, Dunphy. This is now from the article. Dunphy claims Giuliani told her he was able to, quote, break the law because he has, quote, immunity and asked if she knew anyone who needs a pardon because he was selling them for two million dollars. He told Miss Dunphy that he she could refer individuals seeking pardons to him so long as they did not go through the normal channels of the office of the pardon attorney, because then they'd be subject to disclosure. And this goes on and on and on. Uh, 2020's plan in February 2019, the complaint notes Giuliani told Dunphy about Trump's plan if he were to lose. Specifically, Giuliani said to Dunphy, Trump would claim there was voter fraud and say he won. This was discussed at several meetings with Giuliani and Lev Parnas. This is absolutely stunning stuff. Absolutely stunning stuff. There's another article which we won't go through in details from Business Insider. Rudy hit with bombshell rape lawsuit. Ex staffer says he demanded oral sex while he took calls from Donald Trump. Um, has America ever been more wrong about someone than about Rudy Giuliani after 9 11? I mean, that's one question that certainly comes up. Bill Cosby, I guess, maybe. And so much of the last five years, now has to be sort of revisited or reinterpreted through the lens of this lawsuit, if you believe it to be credible. And I have no reason at this point uh, to, to doubt it. There are audio recordings. There are text messages. There is this is genuinely a bombshell. When we think back to that Borat scene, Sasha Baron Cohen, 
where Rudy Giuliani, after the fact, said, oh, I was just tucking in my shirt. It certainly seems less harmless in the wake of these new allegations. Dunphy has receipts, 20,000 emails, text messages and recordings. And let's not ignore this is a lawsuit. This is a civil proceeding. Let's not ignore the potential for some of those documents and records uh, to become relevant in potential criminal investigations against Rudy Giuliani. So that's the lawsuit. Let's now focus in on the pardon aspect of this. One of our sponsors today is Fume. Not everything in a bad habit is wrong. So instead of a drastic, uncomfortable change, why not just remove the bad part from your habit? Fume is an innovative, award winning device that does exactly that. Fume is not electronic. There's no vapor or harmful chemicals. Fume is just a delicious flavored air that makes replacing your bad habit easy. Your fume comes with an adjustable airflow dial and is designed with movable parts, which is great for fidgeting, which can be great for people breaking bad habits. Look at what people online are saying. They weren't sure what to expect, but ended up loving the taste and the feel. Stopping is something lots of people put off because it's difficult to do. But switching to fume is easy and enjoyable. There's no reason that you can't be the next fume success story. Head on over to tryfume.com and use the code Pacman to save 10%. When you get the journey pack, which comes with the device and three flavors, the link is down below.